All right, good evening, everybody. This is Clarence T. Brown with the Talking About Limited Liability Corporation. Again, you see it's um, after hours. I'm in my home office again. Um, memory stick around my neck, working on um, yet another evening of, of my Bible shift, making my vacation my vocation, burning the midnight oil, red eyes still, trying to catch up with my third win. My third win just hasn't gotten here yet. But still just spending the, this time just trying to be productive and creative um, television is, is, is non-existent in my life. Um, I love sports, but I normally only watch it in championship games and things of that nature because it's really, um, it's a drain. It's a drain. It's a distraction. It's put out there to keep you from being as successful as you can be. And so um, right now it is 11.14 p.m., about 24 hours since uh, my last evening session. And I'm just sitting here, um, I'm strategizing again. I'm going through some websites and pulling down some information. I'm trying to find some contact names and information to put in a, a listserv. And so um, that's something that's fairly simple to do. It's It, it doesn't take a lot of thought for thinking, you know, to get it done. Um, it's a mundane task, but it's still something that needs to get done and something that you can be doing to move toward that shift in your life. Um, you have to do your research. You have to, you know, lay the groundwork. Um, you have to build your structure. You have to, you, you have to build your infrastructure. You got to make sure that your base is solid and sound. And so, while you're working for these first few days of the Bible shift, those are the types of things you should do. Because what you'll find is that as you um, open up your mind to these new possibilities, new things will be attracted to you. And so, if you know what you need to do to set the base um, for for your Bible shift or for working in your passion, then those are the types of things that you should actually. Um, try to accomplish during these first few days as, as, as I am. I'm um, doing a lot of research and making sure everything is in order. But what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to get caught up in doing research because what will happen is your Bible shift will go on forever and ever and ever because you'll start feeling comfortable doing research because it's non-threatening. I mean, you're sitting in the comfort of your own home or at your um, home office or at the library and doing this, doing this research and you're never really going to put it out so anybody can see it. And so it's really not doing anything, so you're really wasting time. I mean, I, I'm going to kind of suggest that you don't do that because um, then the time and energy that you're spending working this part-time uh, vacation will actually all go for naught. And so um, the, the tip I'm just going to give you tonight, um, the second night of my Bible shift, is do your background research, lay the, lay the uh, foundation, lay the framework, so that um, as the days get over, like when we get down into day 10, um, things will really start rolling and you will already have everything to fall back on. You'll have some policies and procedures in place that govern how you do things. You won't have to worry about trying to do those when you finally start interfacing with people and trying to get your your um, your, your your passion going or get, get, get your purpose going. So Clarence T. Brown, www.talkingabout.com. Um, you can check me out on the web. You can get you can email me Clarence T. Brown at talkingabout.com. But we're talking about day two. The Bible shift, um, late night hours where you can do research, you're not interfacing with anybody, just laying the groundwork for um, moving forward in your passion. Uh, have a good night. I'll talk to you first thing in the morning on our morning commute. Good night.